Yo and hello there and welcome back my fair pixelators, today we're loading another Minecraft pixel tutorial build on Zoro from the Wanawa and today we're going to be doing part 2, so without further ado let's get straight into today's tutorial but before we get into today's tutorial just a quick reminder there is a link down below in the description to my fire account if you have any Minecraft pixel art as images that you want built into a world or just any ideas you have then feel free to go and check me out on Fiverr just a quick reminder though Fiverr is a premium service that is obviously you know a paid service and obviously I still do suggestions and that sort of stuff on my channel but they take a long time to come out and that's why I offer Fiverr as a premium service just for those that want to really want to have this image and you don't want to wait for me to maybe finally release it into a tutorial or maybe never ever release into a tutorial but with that note being said back onto Zorro for well, today's blocks we're going to be using for Zoro, we're going to be using our black concrete and our gold block as per usual. And without further ado, let's move over to the area that we're going to be flying off today. So for the area we're going to be flying off today, we're going to be flying to that bottom right diagonal you can see at the top of the sword. So as you can see this one right here, we're going to fly over to here. Once again, I'm just going to place my gold block on this bottom right diagonal just to show you where we're going off. For those that don't know the area we're going off, as you can see. So we're flying back over towards here. And once you're flying over to this bottom right diagonal, we're going to take out our black concrete and we're going to place 11 going to the right from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. Once you place 11 going to the right from here, we're going to do 3 upright diagonals. So 1, 2 and 3. And there we go. Once you've done a three upright diagonals, we're going to place two going to the right from here. So one and two. And then once you place those two going to the right, we're going to place one on top, just like so. And then we're going to fly underneath by one. So back to this bottom right corner right here. And we're going to place one going underneath from here, just like so. And there we go. From this one that we just placed underneath, we're going to do a bottom right diagonal. And there we go. We should be looking like that right there. And once we've done this, we're going to take out our gold block, and we're going to place seven gold blocks going to the right from here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And there we go, we should be looking like that right there. And once we place seven gold blocks going to the right right there, we're going to take out our black concrete, and we're going to place four black concrete going to the right from those seven gold blocks. So, one, two, three, and four. Once you've placed four going to the right, just like so, we're going to place two on top of the end one, so one and two. And then we're going to do four up left diagonals from here. So one, two, three, and four. And from this fourth up left diagonal, we're going to place two to the left, so one and two. And from the second one that we place to the left, we're going to do a bottom left diagonal from here. Just like so. From this bottom left diagonal, we're going to place one underneath. And then once we place one underneath, we're going to do three bottom right diagonals. So one, two, and three. And then there we go. As you can see, that third bottom right diagonal has connected in a bottom right diagonal direction on top of this gold block, just like so. And it's connecting to this four right here going along to the right that we first place to the right of the gold blocks. Once we should be looking like this, we're going to destroy those gold blocks because we won't be needing those. And once we've destroyed those, we're going to continue on from this bottom right diagonal right here, where we place the seven gold blocks going to the right of. So back to here. Once you've flown back to here, we're going to place one underneath here, just like so. So we should be looking like that. Once we've done this, we're going to do a bottom right diagonal from here. From this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place one underneath. We're then going to place one to the right, then fly to the left by one. So back to this left corner right here. And once we've flown back here, we're going to place one underneath. Once we've done this, we're going to fly back to that one to stick out to the right. So back to this one right here. And we're going to do a bottom right diagonal from here. Do a bottom right diagonal, just like so. And then once we've done this, we're going to place one going to the right. We're then going to do two bottom right diagonals from here. So one and two. From the second bottom right diagonal, we're going to place one to the right, just like so. And then once we've done this, we're going to repeat this two here three more times in a bottom right diagonal direction. So do a bottom right diagonal, place one to the right, that's one. Do another bottom right diagonal, place another one to the right, that's two. Do another bottom right diagonal, place another one to the right, and that's three. And there you go. As you can see, that should be four of those twos in total in a bottom right diagonal direction. So one, two, 
three, and four. As you can see, we've got four of them. So fly back towards the end one. And once you're flying back towards the end one, we're going to do another bottom right diagonal from here. And from this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place nine to the right from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Once you place nine to the right, we're going to do an upright diagonal. And then from this upright diagonal, we're going to place four to the right from here. So one, two, three, and four. And there we go. Once we've done this, we're going to do another upright diagonal from here. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to place three to the right this time. So one, two, and three. Once you've done this, we're going to do another upright diagonal from here. And we're going to place another three to the right. So one, two, and three. And there we go, we should be looking like that right there. Once you've done this, we're going to do another upright diagonal from here. And this time from this upright diagonal, we're going to place two to the right. So one and two. Once you've done this, we're going to do another upright diagonal from here. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to place three to the right this time. So one, two, and three. And then once we've done this, we're going to do another upright diagonal. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to place two to the right. So one and two. Once we've done this, we're going to do another upright diagonal from here. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to place three to the right. So one, two, and three. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal from here. And from this upright diagonal, we're going to place another three to the right. So one, two, and three. Once you've done this, we're going to take out our gold block. And with our gold block, we're going to place 11 underneath this third one that we just placed to the right. So the very end one right here, this black concrete. So we're going to place 11 going underneath here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. Once you place 11 gold blocks going underneath here, take out our black concrete. And with our black concrete, we're going to place two underneath the 11th gold block. So one and two. Once you've done this, we're going to do a bottom left diagonal. And from this bottom left diagonal, we're going to place one underneath. So we should be looking like that right there. Once you've done this, we're going to do nine bottom left diagonals from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine and then we're just going to replace that quickly and then there we go for this a ninth bottom left diagonal we're going to place one to the left just like so and then we're going to do two bottom left diagonals from here so one and two on the second bottom left diagonal take out our gold block and we're going to place six gold blocks going underneath from here so one two three four five and six and there we go as you can see we place six gold blocks underneath from here and it's connected to the ground just like so and if it's connected to the ground just like so that means we've done everything correctly so far in this part so we're going to do we're going to destroy those six gold blocks because we don't need those anymore and we're going to destroy those 11 gold blocks as well because we're going to be needing those as well and then once we destroyed those we're going to continue on from this four right here in total so we where we place three to the right and where we just place 11 gold blocks underneath we're going to continue on from here and we're going to do an upright diagonal and from this upright diagonal we're going to place four to the right so one two three and four and then there we go we're actually done with that area so once we've done that we're going to zoom out and so we're going to fly all the way back to the left and we're going to fly to this one sticking underneath right here so as you can see in this area which we're doing right now which is the chest area we're going to be flying over back to that one underneath right there. So I'll place a gold block just for those that don't get the area we're going off. That is the area we're going off right there as you can see. So without further ado, let's fly back over here. Once you're flying back over to here, taking out our black concrete, we're going to place seven underneath from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And once you place seven underneath, we're going to do a bottom right diagonal just like so. Then from this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place six underneath here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then once you've done this, we're going to do another bottom right diagonal from here, just like so. And from this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place three underneath. So one, two, and three. Once you've done this, we're going to do another bottom right diagonal from here, just like so. And from this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place two going underneath. So one and two. Once you've done this, we're going to do another bottom right diagonal from here 
just like so. And then once we've done this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place another two underneath. So one and two. And we should be looking like that right there. And once we've done that, we're going to do another bottom right diagonal from here. And from this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place one underneath this time. Just like so. And then we're going to do another bottom right diagonal from here. And from this bottom right diagonal, we're going to place two underneath this time. So one and two. And then finally, but not least, do one singular bottom right diagonal. Just like so. And then there we go. But before we move back up to the top, we got to take out our gold block. And we need to do a little area to the right right here. So with our gold block, we're going to count nine gold blocks going to the right from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Once you've placed nine gold blocks going to the right from here, we're we'll going to take out our black concrete. And we're going to place one to the right of the nine gold blocks. And then take out your gold block again. And we're going to place two gold blocks going to the right of this black concrete. So one and two. And take out our black concrete again, and place one to the right of the two gold blocks, just like so. And then there we go, we're done with marking out the area, but obviously we're not quite done yet, because we still need to go off these areas. So, going back to the first black concrete of the nine gold blocks, to this one right here, we're going to place one black concrete on top of the black concrete, just like so. And then we're going to do an up left diagonal. From this up left diagonal, we're going to place one on top. Once we've done this, we're going to do another up left diagonal, and place two on top. So one and two, and then we're going to do another up left diagonal, and place another two on top, one and two, and then there we go, we're done with the first line. Then moving over to the second single black concrete, to the right of these two gold blocks right here, we're going to do an up left diagonal from here. From this up left diagonal, we're going to place one on top, we're then going to do another up left diagonal. From this up left diagonal, we're going to place another one on top, and then we're going to do another up left diagonal. From this up left diagonal, we're going to place two on top, so one and two, and then we're going to do another up left diagonal, and to place up left diagonal, we're going to place another two on top. So one and two, and then there we go. As you can see, it's kind of one hovering over this three right here, and obviously there's a gap in between them. Once we have done this, we can go and destroy those gold blocks, because we won't be needing those anymore. And then once we destroy those, we're done with that area. So there we go. Once we've done this, we're going to zoom out. Because we're done with this little area here. And then we're going to move back on to the fist area. So we're going to move back over to that one that's sticking up right there as you can see. So let's fly over to here. And I'll place a gold block just for those that don't get the area we're going off. That is the area we're going to be going off right there as you can see. To that one sticking up right there. So let's fly back over to here. And once we fly back to this one sticking up right here. We're going to do five up right diagonals from here. So one, two, three, four. And five. And from this fifth upright diagonal, we're going to place one on top. And then we're going to place one to right. And then fly into left by one. So back to this left corner right here. And we're going to place two going to the left. So one and two. We're then going to place one underneath. And fly back up by one. So back up to this left corner right here. And we're going to place one going to the left from here. Just like so. Once we've done this, we're going to fly back to that one that we just placed underneath. So back to this one right here, as you can see. And once we've flown back to here, we're going to do two bottom left diagonals. So one and two. And we should be looking like that right there. And from that second bottom left diagonal, we're going to place one to the left. Once you've done that, we're going to do another bottom left diagonal from here. And from this bottom left diagonal, we're going to place another one to the left. Once you've done this, we're going to do another bottom left diagonal. And from this bottom left diagonal, we're going to place two to the left this time. So one and two. And then once we've done this, we're going to do an up left diagonal. And from this up left diagonal, we're going to place one to the left, just like so. And there we go, we should be looking like that right there, as you can see. And as you can see, that up left diagonal that we just did, and place one to the left, connects back to that too that we're sticking out to the right right here, as you can see. So once we have done that, we're going to zoom out and we're going to fly back over to this area to the right. So where we got this one sticking out to the left, and this one sticking out to the right. We're going to be flying over to this one sticking up to the left first and complete this little area going up here. This is this part of the fist right here. So fly over to that one sticking up to the left. Once we've flown over to here, we're going to do one up left diagonal from here. Just like so. And then from this singular up left diagonal, take out our gold block. And we're going to place two to the left from here. So one and two. Once you've done this, take out our black concrete. And we're going to place two to the left of gold blocks. So one and two. We're then going to place one underneath the bottom one right here. And then we're going to place one to the left. And then there we go. As you can see, we should be looking like that 
right there. Once you've done that, we're going to destroy those two gold blocks because we won't be needing those gold blocks anymore. And then flying back to the up left diagonal. So back to here, as you can see. And once we're flying back up to this up left diagonal, we're going to do six more up left diagonals from here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And there we go. We should be looking like that right there. On the sixth up left diagonal that we just did, we're going to place one on top, just like so. And then we're going to do four single up left diagonals from here. So one, two, three, and four. And there we go, we're doing that area right there so we can zoom out. And then we're going to fly over to that one that's sticking out to the right over here. So back to this one that I was talking about. So fly over to here. Once we've flown over to this one sticking out to the right, right here, we're going to do three upright diagonals from here. So one, two, and three. On this third upright diagonal, we're going to place two on top. So one and two. And then going to place one to the right. We're flying to the left by one, so back to this left corner right here. And we're going to place two going up from here, so one and two. Once we've done this, take out our gold block. And we're going to place two gold blocks going to the left from this top one right here, so one and two. And once we've done this, take out our black concrete. And once again, place two to the left of these two gold blocks, so one and two. We're then going to place one underneath and place one to the left. And then we're going to place another one underneath. And then we're going to place another one to the left, just like so. And there we go, we should be looking like that right there. Once you have done that, we're going to destroy those two gold blocks, because we won't be needing those anymore. So destroy these two. And then once we destroy these two, we're going to fly back to these two black concrete that's sticking up right here. And once we're flying back over to here, we're going to do an up left diagonal from here. Once you've done this up left diagonal, place one on top, just like so. And then we're going to do another up left diagonal. From this up left diagonal, place two on top, so one and two. And then once you've done this, we're going to do six single up left diagonals from here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then there we go. We're done with that little area right there. Once we have done that, we're going to fly to that one sticking out to the right, right here. In this five and total line right here, so flying over to here, and once we've flown over to this one stick up to the right, right here, we're going to place another three going to the right from here. So one, two, and three. And once you place three going to the right, we're going to place one underneath. We're then going to fly back up by one, so back up to this right corner right here, and then we're going to do an upright diagonal from here. For this upright diagonal, we're going to place one to the right. And then once we've done this, we're going to do two upright diagonals, so one and two. From the second upright diagonal, we're going to place one to the right. We're then going to fly into the left by one, so back to here. And then we're going to place four going up from here, so one, two, three, and four. And then once we've done this, we're going to take out our gold block. And with our gold block, we're going to place three going to the left from this fourth one right here. So one, two, three. And then once you place three gold blocks going to the left, take up your black concrete, and we're going to place one to the left of these three gold blocks, just like so. Once you've done this, we're going to place one on top, and then we're going to place one to the left, and then flow back into the right by one, so back to here. And once you're flowing back to this right corner, place one on top, just like so. Once you've done this, we're going to fly back to that one stick to the left, so back to this one right here, and we're going to place another one going to the left. And there we go, we're doing that little area right there, so we can destroy those three gold blocks. Once we've destroyed those three gold blocks, continue back on from this four that we just placed on top right here. We're going to place another additional four going up from here. So one, two, three, and four. Once we place another four going up from here, we're going to do two up left diagonals. So one, and two, and then there we go. On the second up left diagonal, we're going to place one on top, just like so. And then we're going to do another up left diagonal, and place another one on top. And then we're going to do another two up left diagonals. So one, and two. On the second up left diagonal, place one on top, then do another up left diagonal. And on this up left diagonal, place another one on top. And then we're done with this area, so we can zoom out from here. So as you can see, we should be looking like this so far. Once we've done this, we're going to fly to that one sticking out to the right, right here as you can see. So fly over towards here, 
Once we've flown over towards here, we're going to do an up right diagonal. From this up right diagonal, we're going to place two turn right. So one and two. And then we're going to do another up right diagonal. And from this up right diagonal, place one to the right. Once we've done this, we're going to do two up right diagonals from here. So one and two. And from the second up right diagonal, place one top. We're then going to do another up right diagonal. And from this up right diagonal, we're going to place three on top. So one two and three and then we're going to place one to the right and then we're going to fly into our left by one so back to this left corner right here and we're going to place two on top so one and two and then once we've done this we're going to do an up left diagonal from here and then from this up left diagonal we're going to take our goal block and we're going to place three goal blocks going to the left from here so one two and three once we've done this take our black concrete and we're going to place Two going to the left from this three gold blocks, so one and two. And once we've done this, we're going to place one on top and fly underneath by one, so back to this left corner right here, and place one to the left, and fly back into the right by one, so back into this middle one right here, and place in one underneath. And there we go. We're done with that area right there. So as you can see, it's kind of like a little plus sign. Once we've done this, we're going to destroy those three gold blocks because we won't be needing those anymore. So destroy these right here. And then once we've destroyed these, we're going to continue on from the top left diagonal just for a bit to mark out a nice area for us. So we're going to place three on top of here. So one, two, and three. Once we place three on top, we're going to do two up left diagonals. So one and two. And the second up left diagonal, we're going to place one on top, just like so. And then we're going to do three up left diagonals from here. So one, two, and three. On this third up left diagonal, we're going to place one on top, just like so. And then we're going to do four up left diagonals from here. So one, two, three, and four. And then there we go. Once we've done four up left diagonals, once again, we're going to place another one on top at the end one, just like so. And then once we've done this, we're going to do three up left diagonals from here. So one, two, and three. On this third left diagonal, we're going to place one on top, and then we're going to place one to the right, and then fly into the left by one, so back to this left corner right here, and we're going to place one on top, and then we're going to place one to the left, and then we're going to place another one on top, and then we're going to fly underneath by one, so back to this bottom left corner right here, and we're going to place one going underneath, and then we're going to place one to the left, and then there we go. Once we've done this, we're going to zoom out. So as you can see, that one sticking up to the right, and that one sticking up to the left, and that one sticking up right there, are three areas that we are going to come back to. So once we have done this, we're going to zoom out, and we're not quite finished yet, and we want to fly back to that one sticking up to the right, right here, as you can see. So let's fly back over to this one sticking up to the right, and once we've flown back over to here, we're going to do two bottom right diagonals from here, so one and two, and the second bottom right diagonal, we're going to place three underneath, so one, two, and three. We're then going to place one to right, then fly into left by one, so back to this left corner right here. And we're going to place one underneath here, just like so. Well, this one that we just placed underneath, we're going to do three bottom left diagonals from here. So one, two, and three. On the third bottom left diagonal, place one underneath, just like so. Once you've done this, we're going to do two bottom left diagonals. So one and two. And the second bottom left diagonal, place one to the left. Then we're going to place one underneath. And then we're going to fly back up by one. So back at this left corner right here. And we're going to do an up left diagonal from here. And from this up left diagonal, we're going to place two to the left. So one and two. We're then going to do two bottom left diagonals. So one and two. And there we go, we should be looking like that so far. And then from that second bottom left diagonal, we're going to place two underneath. So one and two. We're then going to place one to the right. And then from this one that we place to the right, we're going to place one underneath. And then going to place one to the right. And fly to the left by one, so back to this left corner right here. And place one underneath. And then we're going to fly back to that one that we place to the right, so back to here. And so we're going to do two at right diagonals from here. So one and two. And then there we go. As you can see, that second upright diagonal has connected back in the upright diagonal direction to that one that was sticking underneath right there, as you can see. And then once we have done this, we're going to fly back to that one sticking underneath, so back to here, finish off the last area for today, and we're going to do a bottom left diagonal from here. 
From this bottom left diagonal, we're going to place two to the left, so one and two. And then we're going to do another left diagonal from here. And from this up left diagonal, we're going to place one to the left. And then we're going to do another up left diagonal. But this time, we're going to place two on top. So one and two. And there you go. As you can see, that second one that we placed on top has connected to that one that we're sticking underneath right here. So it looks like four sticking underneath from here, from this corner. So one, two, three, and four. And there you go. And as you can see, we have completed everything so far for today. So we're going to zoom out. So there you go, as you can see today, that we have completed a bit of the fist. Not all the fist, obviously, because we haven't done the back part of the fist, but all the front part of the fist is pretty much done. And then, as you can see, we've got some points for the tilt of the sword, which, again, I'm not so sure if it's called the tilt of the sword or not, but it's where the handle is or so, where, obviously, your hand doesn't move over into the blade and cut your hand, that part of the sword, which, you know what I'm talking about. And, um, as you can see, we've also done part of the chest. So there's his... Lovely muscular nipples right there as you can see and then there's part of the underneath the chest right there And with that note being said into the next part We're going to be doing the rest of the sword so we're completing the rest of the uh, this thing whatever it's called and The back of the fist and then the rest of the sword going up to the top Which hopefully we'll be able to complete that because we are going to from the bottom as I said to the max height Obviously we've already done a bit, but we are going to the very top which is to the 220 max limit of the height of this build. But again, without further ado, enough being said, and stop wasting your time. I'll see you in the next one. So without further ado, peace out, enjoy the rest of your day, and goodbye. Oh, and hit the like button and subscribe as well. And remember, there is a link down below in the description to Fiverr. If you've got any pixel art, like, well, not pixel art, any images you want to be done into Minecraft pixel art, then go and check me out on Fiverr. Do remember that it is, as I said before, it is a paid service. But I'm sure most of you know what Fiverr is. And again, without further ado, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.